Hello LGs, ladies and gents. This is Sister Lady and I wanted to come in and show you guys this new product the that I purchased purchase. that lasts for at least 12 hours, okay? I've had this eyeshadow on for 12 hours and no touch up, no anything. And so uh, I know I'm going to be doing this backwards but I wanted to show you the look that I achieved and, this morning. And as you can see, it is still in place and it's like 10 o'clock at night. Of course, I've retouched up the, my lipstick and all of that, but the eyeshadow lasts all day. So if you like to see what it is, then of course, all right, you guys. To watch. So as you can see, I'm wearing this olive green. And in my crease, color. I'm wearing a medium to dark brown. And then, of course, I just um, put on my eyeliner and some mascara. And that's the look, you guys. So, I'm going to just go ahead and show you the product, product to achieve this look all day, okay? And that product is Black Radiance. Black Radiance has this new cream uh, color. It's called Continuous Cream uh, Color oh, Eyeshadow. It's absolutely amazing. And usually it creases, you know, usually your makeup, your eyeshadow starts to crease or you have to touch it up because some of the uh, vibrance or the luster has faded during the day. You guys, I haven't touched this eyeshadow at all. And just look at it still on just like I put it on this morning okay and I just thought that was amazing that it stayed on and I have a hooded eye which means most of the products that I use creases so I'm very very happy but with this product it was very inexpensive black radiance from Walmart and this is the color olive they call it their yeah, CA6444 Olive. Alright, so this is the color right here as you can see. It's a beautiful green. And it is very creamy, very soft, creamy eyeshadow. And when I put it on, the very first time I put it on, I felt like a stinging in my on my eyes. So it was like, I don't know if that's the... Uh, staying power of it or whatever so you want to be careful of that just know um, if you get that up uh, it doesn't irritate my eyes or anything like that didn't swell up or anything but I did feel this little tingling sensation when I first put it on so and and let me uh, clarify I did not put on any um, the first time I used it I didn't put on any um, eye primer or yeah eye primer on my lids before I applied the the uh, continuous cream from Black Radiance. So when I put it on this morning, I did. This I morning I put my on my eye primer from uh, what is this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. And as you can see, it's pretty old. I think I bought it when I bought it off eBay a long time ago. And every now and ago. then I use it. So this morning I used it and I put it on first. And then I put applied my my eyeshadow, my creamy eyeshadow from uh, Black Radiance. And I didn't feel that tingling sensation. So by putting it on my naked skin, I felt some type of tingling. So you may want to make sure you put on your primer before you apply it. But um, the first thing I did, of course, was put on my pl my primer, and then I used my Knock on Wood from Wet n Wild, the really inexpensive makeup here. Uh, Wet n Wild, I think, is two ninety nine at your local drugstore, and I used this crease color right here, this brown, say dark brown, and I just put a little bit of that on one of my fluffy brushes and just put it right in the crease not very heavy which is a big deal for me I'm usually very heavy handed when it comes to makeup um, but I just put a little shadow of that brown in my crease and of area. course I buffed it out so it wouldn't leave a really harsh harsh line and just kind of soften that color up and then I applied my 
cream eyeshadow from Black Radiance. And it does come with its own little oh, applicator which brush. Which is totally cute. Um, it just a little bit, you guys, is all you need. Don't go in dipping um, too much onto your brush because it goes on, I mean, super vibrant. And a little bit is all you need. And you just start um, applying that all over your lower lid. I like to like um, um, kind of pack it on. I put a little bit on and then I'll and, go back and I'll let it sit for uh, 15 maybe. seconds. And then I go back over it with another coat. And uh, and yeah, and then after that, that's maybe it. two coats. That's all you need. A thin layer at first and then you can uh, thicken it up as you go. But... Uh, the second layer is vibrant, is beautiful, is, and it stays on all, all day. day. Okay, and you can really take this from day to night if you wanted to uh, go out at night and you wanted to keep the same makeup on. All you have to do is maybe touch up your eyeliner and ma mascara, and if you wanted to smoke it out or something, Without you having can do to that. Remove your eye makeup. I was, I'm just so excited about that because I am not a makeup guru or a uh, makeup artist or anything like that trust me I've only been wearing eyeshadow for two years now and I'm still learning uh, so much from the YouTube girls out here uh, about how to apply it so whenever I find something that's uh, very easy to put on and apply and looks well I got a lot of compliments on my green today um, you know, I wanted to, so, I have to share it with uh, you guys. I know there's a lot of people out there like me who are new to eyeshadow, even at our age, even at my age. Um, uh, because when, of course, when I was growing up, makeup I, was I never boo in our house. makeup, only eyeshadow, only eyeliner, and mascara and lipstick had to have my lipstick on. So today's lipstick is a combination of. Uh, this is Nouveau Pink and it's a Wet n Wild very pretty pink color and of course that's right there in the center or on the bow of my lips and that's the color it's very pretty and then I just uh, used Black Radiance this is 5010 and the color is just super gorgeous. It's a very beautiful wine. I like that wine color. It's very, and so very that's pretty. what I use to line my lips with. And that's how it looks on me. And I'm just loving, loving, loving this Black Radiance Continuous Cream Eye Color. It comes in several colors. Um, I bought the other. I bought another color since this one was so great. I had to go and get another one. And you guys, hopefully you can see that's the gold color of it. Another beautiful color. Oh, I'm taking one shadow pretty much at a time, and learning how to apply it and smoothing it out and all that kind of stuff. I'm loving the smoky eye. Everything I want to smoke everything. So. <laughs> um, it took everything I, I had this morning not to try to smoke this eye out uh, and mess it up. So uh, I was just very happy with the way it looked and um, put on my eyeliner. I'm a lover of eyeliners and I have so many different uh, colors of eyeliner. And I started out with this particular one from Hard Candy and I bought it only because of the packaging it was the package was just so cute I love it and of course the felt tilt pin of it you guys can see that it's called old fudge let me just swipe it for you guys so you can see this color is super gorgeous it's a beautiful brown okay and so I put that on first since I was going with the brown uh, in the crease but I love, love, love dark eyeliners and this just wasn't cutting it for me. I wanted something much darker and so went to my went to uh, favorite eyeliner, my liquid eyeliner from Milani. 
this right here you guys is worth its weight in gold if you like dark dark eyeliner and this is infinite liquid eyeliner up and to 24 let me tell hours you, it takes something to get this eyeliner so, off okay uh, so you can see my eyeliner is still intact I do layer my eyeliner even though I mean it says 24 hours and it is true to its word it lasts for a long time even when I try to take it off with my makeup remover um, towelettes I mean it takes some work but to I get also it off. use on top of it for May contour has a baked eyeliner looks like this just looks like soot okay it is so so black and I love it so I also uh, whenever I use my liquid eyeliner I always set it with this uh, baked I don't like eyeliner. The baked eyeliner by itself so I always use it as my so, setter you guys this is my look my 24 hour look so I'm hoping they come out with some more colors especially for fall and uh, this champagne and the olive of course are great colors for the fall all right that's all that I want to share with you guys today my 24 hour look all right uh, thank you guys for watching if you have any comments or uh, questions please leave them down below and I will talk to you on my next video this is the lady signing off for now be blessed and a blessing. Bye-bye.